not all hulls, not all boats, not all jet skis are built the same. Okay? For example, Nano XL and Nano XL2 is lightweight. It's strong, but it oil cans. It oil cans. It's an adjective. It oil cans. <laughs> All right. It flexes. That's what's causing a lot of the cracking in the paint it is the flex of the Nano. It's not breaking. The paint is cracking, not the hull. It's a difference. All right. And when you're riding in rough water, you're going to feel it. All right. I can't tell you how many guys have gone out there and bought a GP1800R SVHO and they're like, well, I bought it to cruise. And this thing just beats the crap out of you. Well, it beats the crap out of you because you bought a lightweight ski with not that's very, very thin with not a lot of insulation. You're going to feel everything. But guess what? It's one of the best tracking rough water skis you're ever going to get on. And people who say otherwise don't ride hard. They just are tourists. Every racer worth a damn who, who goes out there and pins the shit out of a GP will come back saying that's the best freaking haul I've ever ridden. They all will. They all will. From Chris McCluggage down, they'll all say the same thing. They're like, dude, dude. All right. Yeah, we'll beat you up. Yeah, but race boat. That's our answer. Race boat. How, how is this not connecting the neurons in your brain? How is this not meshing? Anyway. Hey, guys. Thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.